at this damn camera. Yeah. Let's see. I'll, I'll work on that, okay? What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach who just woke up. So did he. And so, come here, guys, a bit. <laughs> and so did she, my favorite. She's my favorite. I like her more than that one. Oh, he heard that shit. Okay, I'm coming to both of you. Oh, oh my baby. <laughs> right? What's going on, everybody? It's your dating coach. Just woke up. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about a, a topic a lot of my clients come, or they, they don't come to me for this, but they, they do ask me uh, this question. You want to go outside? Come on. Get, get, get. But they do ask me this question uh, quite often while we're in our session, and it's, why does he come to me for a hookup or sex or something when he can have anybody? Now, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. God dang, get out. Come on. Go. Get. Now, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just click the red button below. I'll love you forever. If you want a session with me, uh, the link's down in the descriptions. Uh, I would love to talk to you. Okay? So, here's the thing that women don't realize. No, I think they do realize it, but they just don't think about it I don't know, maybe they're trying to justify why he's acting the way he's acting. Or maybe a lot of women are trying to justify, um, you know, the hope that uh, that he, he cares. But women, okay, so I'll talk to women. They'll say, well, why does he keep on coming back to me? Or why does he want to hook up with me when he can have anyone? And I always tell women there's two reasons for that. One, it's not that black and white, meaning just because he's, asking for something from you doesn't mean he's not asking for it from someone else. If he's single, he is. Especially if you meet the guy online, okay? If he's single, he is. Uh, that's just how it works. It, you have to understand, I always tell women, you have to look at it in form of resources or in terms of resources, time, energy, effort, money, uh, things like that. It, it takes no time or effort for a guy, I could be doing it sitting on a damn toilet, you know, to text you these things that you want to hear and to uh, uh, to tell you I want to hook up with you and hey, and, and make plans with you. Like, that's no effort. I, to hook up with someone, that takes one day, uh, you know, and, and a, couple te a couple texts back and forth, you know, and a lot of women are like, well, he, why is he so admin about it? Which leads me to the second thing, which is you're pre-qualified. If you guys have messed around before, or if he knows you like him, or if you guys have history, or anything like that, you're what I call pre-qualified, meaning that it's much easier for him to get with you than it is to talk to another girl. The risk of him being turned down by you is much less, again, than, than it is for another girl uh, to turn him down. It's just easier to talk to someone that I already know I have a chance with than going out to a bar and having to rebuild that rapport. Or even something as simple as online. You know, women will say, well, he can just meet another girl online. That's true, but he has to go through the whole, uh, you know, uh, resume process, basically. The, uh, the filtering process where you have to, you know, find out about each other, what you're really doing. If he's a manipulator, he has to spend the time manipulating this girl. Um... And things like that. So even though he does have Tinder, even though Tinder is very easy uh, to do that, it still takes time. But again, going back to the first point, he, I would say he's probably spending that time doing that while he's asking you to hook up. And especially if this is a guy who's, who's came back out of who, who came back out of nowhere, right? If this guy came back out of nowhere, and again, I tell women this all the freaking time. Just because he comes back, it doesn't mean that's necessarily a good thing. What's his reason for coming back? Now, if you guys were a long-term couple and you broke up a little bit and he realized, holy shit, you're actually amazing. Um, and when I say long-term, I mean like year on, right? And, he, and, and you were a consistently, uh, you know, or, or you were consistent and you were a good couple, right? Limited fights, just had a good time, but then something just happened and you went your separate ways. Uh, and it was impulsive on his part, then yes, I can understand him coming back and realizing what he lost. But if you're some girl he's only taught you for several months, he's or even longer, but he's never committed to, 
and it was kind of bumpy. There, there was ups and downs, times where you have, you know, you might be talking to each other for a month, and he stops talking to you for a week or two. Then, then I mean, hun, it's probably he's, he's coming back probably for just the hookup. Okay, so just to you know, take all this in and to summarize it, just because a guy wants to hook up with you doesn't mean he's not trying to hook up with others. Just because a guy comes back doesn't mean he wants a relationship. It's probably sexual, hence the, the, the topic of this video, you know, why does he want to hook up with me, you know, when he can have anyone. He knows that. He's probably working towards it, everyone, but he, you're pre-qualified, he's going to work on his chances with you, okay? It's just, it, it, again, it just comes down to resources. It's, it, resources are limited. He can spend less getting you than he can other people. He already invested a little bit in you. He's going to work with that while talking to others. Okay, so with that being said, I love you, ladies. Take care. If you haven't yet subscribed, red button below and the bell notification. Session with me down in the description. Love you. Take care and peace.